Justin Battles uh, went through the ranch in 2021. Um, growing up, uh, most of my life, uh, I was able to accomplish things and, and really had drive and dedication. Um, we got married at a very young age and just kind of started raising a family and, and got into life. And as life got busy, uh, kind of began to look forward to the weekends and the things that come with that. And then as life went on, um, the weekends turned into weeknights. And before you knew it, I had really ran, ran far from God and just got so caught up in what life has out there. And I found myself in 2020 losing most of the things in life that God had brought me. Um, went through a divorce, a uh, relationship with kids. When we got divorced, we had already been married for 19 years. So, um, you know, we had a great marriage and then we had a rocky marriage. I mean, not, you know, we went through a lot in those 19 years. But um, just knowing the person that he, who he was, um, is what kind of kept me in the marriage because I knew his true heart. But all, unfortunately, substances in his life did um, kind of take over and control him, his actions, and just some of the things that happened to us and in our marriage. My daughter at the time, and there was an incident where I didn't show up for an event, um, and the next morning she contacted me and just said, "You know, I don't, I don't know what life you're choosing." but you're not really choosing to be a part of mine. And it was that moment, I think, that I fully realized the impact of, of my addiction and, and where I was at. Yeah, the moment uh, I decided to get help, uh, it was tough. Um, you know, you, you build up these walls and you think, you think you've got everything under control. Um, even, even when everything around you is burning, you, you think everything's under control. This is not, this is not an issue for me. Uh, when I finally made that realization, that, that moment was tough. Um, I remember driving around for a few hours and thinking, is this, do I want to step out on this limb? Do I, do, do I tell someone that I really need help? Um, do I really want to make this phone call? I remember driving to work and a song had came on the radio from Lauren Daigle. It was Hold On To Me and it just had come out and she was um, explaining, she came on the radio afterwards explaining what that song meant to her and you know it was just about being the light for somebody and I don't know that song just hit me to my core like okay God you're speaking to me it's time like he needs um, like I think it's time for me to, to do more. You know, I had actually already talked to Jeremy and my friend Deanna is um, his cousin and so um, I had already been in contact with him before he even realized that he needed um, to go, you know, anything, he even knew about Rob's Ranch, I guess. That first step is such a surrender moment, right? Um, it, it's saying, hey, I am not in control, I need help. And ultimately, that is allowing God to come in and begin His work. And sometimes, that's even now, uh, three and a half years into recovery, even now, it's, I still have to surrender things every day and say, all right, God, you got this. Um, I'm here, I'm gonna listen. Stepping into Rob's Ranch my first day was March 15th of 2021. And I knew from the moment that I stepped in, um, life was gonna be different. I just didn't know how. And through my counselors there at the ranch and, and through just the leadership, you begin seeing these guys who have what you want. And, and you don't know how they got it, but they're gonna, they're gonna help you get there. And by being committed through that process, it's entirely changed my life. It's changed my relationship with God. It's changed my relationship with my family. Um, and ultimately, you heard me reference a divorce. That's why my wife, Janae, is here with me today. Um, so much so that God led her back into my life in a wet manner where today we're a godly family. I knew the man that I had loved my whole life was um, going to get the help and that maybe there was hope for us again. Um, and so it was like my wall just came down and we started immediately talking. Um, I journaled every day that he was in Rob's Ranch. We talked on the phone every day. Um, and those conversations were just completely different, like seeing his spiritual walk and just his relationship with God change. And I am so blessed that he went to Rob's Ranch and got the help that he needed and the tools that he needed because our life is completely different now, so much better. We did, we got remarried. Um, and the kids, his relationship with our children just 
they weren't didn't weren't on board with us getting um, remarried at first or dating. They were still very hurt, and so that took some time. I mean, he had to build relationships back with myself and our children. As hard as that all was, and all of the trauma and all the things we went through, where we are at today with our relationship with God and with each other and our our children, um, I almost I mean. It was worth it. I feel like it was worth it. <laughs> I think it's easy to to look at your life and say, man, all these things have happened to me. Why? When the reality is, you know, God's always working everything for our good. And I don't know that I would change anything about our story. And that's, I'm not sure I would have said that, you know, even three years ago starting this journey. But just because of the avenues and the doors that it's open to have real conversation with other people that are hurting and, and go, you know what, God God is there even when you think He's not. No matter how much you think you, you have it together, no matter how strong you think you are, um, it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to say, you know, I can't beat this thing and I don't know how to do it. And uh, it took me 40 years to realize that it's okay to ask for help. and. Rob's rants has significantly changed my life uh, for the better.